guys, welcome back. Sorry I haven't made a video on this channel in quite a while. It was because um, I thought that I couldn't change my YouTube name URL unless I had to add on and I really did not want to go by The Biggest Loser 18 anymore because I've never even been on that show so it kind of doesn't make sense and I didn't want people to get like a negative vibe from it thinking that I'm just some big loser even though yeah that was really how I felt but I don't feel that way anymore so yay um so that was why I ended up making a brand new channel but luckily I only have four subscribers on that channel I only made like a few little videos um that I'm either going to try to re-upload on this channel or I'll just recreate what I made before which was just showing some loose skin problems as well as my jeans and stuff. I'm going to try to see if I can re-upload that one though, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, so sorry if the quality is kind of shitty. I got a new laptop and it's really amazing. I love it and it automatically comes with a webcam. So I haven't really been using my HD webcam in a while and now I can't find it. I'll find it eventually, but I just don't know where it is right now. So I'm sorry the quality is kind of shit at the moment. It's like fuzzy. Hey, Sally. But don't worry, I am gonna, I'll find it and I'll have it for my next video. But I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that I was able to figure out how to change my YouTube name URL. So it's no longer The Biggest Loser 18, but instead it's Slimming Wolf Diary. And I don't know, I just really like it, so, yeah. Because if you haven't noticed or you just don't know, I am a wolf therian, which is like a spiritual thing for me. And I've just always been spiritually connected with wolves. Wolves have always been um, my favorite animals. Like, I feel spiritually connected with the wolf or with wolves in general. So that's why. So it has like a nice meaning for me. So yeah. I also feel really cute today. My hair is all straightened. I have a bow in my hair. I'm wearing a new Marvel shirt. And I got new um, knee highs or stockings. And they're really cute. I've always wanted to wear like either knee highs or thigh highs. But because of my legs being so big. And because I really didn't like wearing like skirts or shorts in public. So I'm going to go ahead and try to show you. So yeah, this is my new Marvel shirt. Isn't it amazing? And it's in a size large, so I never thought I would go in a size large. But in women's, I wear a size extra large because the women's shirts are usually shorter and kind of smaller. And I just don't have a small enough tummy to wear like short shirts. So um, I'm an extra large in women's, but in men or unisex, I'm a large in shirts. So yeah. And I got like a bunch of really cute leggings and they are in a size 1x or extra large so yeah don't mind the mess um we're in the middle of like cleaning and reorganizing so yeah um let me try to do it like that yeah aren't they cute I love them so much. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, they're so cute. Oh, let me see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, they're black and they got like the X bones and then the little bow. And they're so comfortable. But yeah, and I love how they like go so well with my shoes. It's amazing. It's like they were meant to fit with my shoes, so. Yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys that because my legs are getting smaller and it just makes me feel cute. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really, really happy. I also got a couple other ones that are just stripes because I love stripe um, stockings. Uh, I don't know where they are right now, but there I got ones that are, oh, there's one right here. I got one in black and white, and the other one is black and purple. Because it's amazing. Oh, I got wolf ears. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you them or not before, but yeah. 
yeah these are the other ones I got so it's like black up here and then it's really really long and yeah I love them I am literally obsessed with like stockings and stuff so yeah so I got that and then I have like black and purple ones too so and then these are the new ones I just got and I am in love with them it makes me so happy so yeah um so as far as an update goes, so I made a video on the other channel. Uh, there's no point in me re-uploading it because it's already over. I basically was talking about my first diet bet that I joined. I joined Fat Girl Fed Up, um, her diet bet, and I won. So it was really exciting. I didn't think I would like towards the end. Like I was doing so good in the beginning. Like I was losing five pounds in the first week because I was eating healthy and exercising. So, yeah, and I was, my next, like, post-op appointment is on October 31st, <laughs> Halloween, and I was hoping to reach Wonderland by then, but I just don't know if I can. I mean, I'm going to try to eat nothing but healthy food and exercise a lot so I can lose the last 20-something pounds. I think I'm, I think I'm either 221 or 225-ish, somewhere around there. Um, but I really want to lose or at least be in Wonderland, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. That'll suck. But you know what? At least I'd be that much closer to my goal. Um, so yeah, sorry if I keep like looking down. It's because I'm uploading a video as we speak on my phone because I recorded it from my phone on my personal YouTube channel. And it's taken a while and then it always like pauses when the phone goes black. So I'm like touching it because I forgot to go in my settings and <laughs> change it but whatever so yeah um yeah I got a job I am a dog bather but I do much more than that I clean the facility I have to brush the dog if needed I have to trim their nails clean their ears and all that happy fun stuff um and yeah <laughs> and um but the only thing is it's not like the most reliable income mostly because I'm only making eight dollars an hour unless I master everything then I can make up to ten dollars I think so I'll get a raise once I learn everything and I master everything it's just really hard when when it comes to like nail trim and stuff because dogs are so squirmy it's like stop moving Urgh. and I'm always afraid of like hurting them when I cut their nails so it's really hard for me that's probably the hardest part and then the most annoying part is blow drying. Oh, I hate blow drying so much. But yeah. But either way, it's still a good job. I still like it. It's just not what I expected, I guess. And it's, it's like this whole entire week I haven't worked at all because there's either too many dogs or not enough dogs for two people. So yeah. Um, so I am looking for a second part-time job. Um, I've applied at a nearby restaurant, so I'm going to wait and see how that goes, if I get a job interview or not, might not. I'm also relying on, like, Patreon for, like, my other content and stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so even though I won my first diet bet, which I was really happy and excited about, I didn't join the other one. I should have, but I didn't, and because of that, I only lost, like, a little bit, but, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to be joining Jordan Shrink's diet bet, because it seems like a wonderful community with her, and she's just a really awesome person, and she's, like, all gothic, like me, and I love her, so I'm gonna, uh, join her diet bet, which starts at the end of September, so, spooky time and it'll help keep me motivated again so yeah and I can get back to my treadmill routine because I've kind of been slacking ever since I got a job and stuff I just haven't the only exercise I would get would be walking the two miles to work and working so because it's a very physical physically demanding job so yeah but I don't want to make that as my excuse. I want to work harder and I want to get back in my treadmill routine and 
now that the weather is finally getting cooler, I'm going to be taking my dogs out for much longer walks. Lately, the only time I walk them is in the morning and evening. It's only just down the street. Just long enough for him to do his business. And then I walk back home. It's not like a, like a nice big like 30 minute something walk like how I used to. And I kind of miss that. So I'm going to do that with him for the rest of the fall season until it gets too cold for the puppy. Especially since he just got groomed, so he looks so cute now. He looks like a like a bigger puppy and so adorable. But yeah, I wish he was here. I would show you, but I'm gonna try to make a video with him sometime, especially with his little outfit that I got. Him. That's for a medium. It's too small on him. But yeah, so um, uh, so yeah, it's hard to think that by next year I can be skinny. Like, holy crap! Like even now, like. I feel small, even though I'm not small yet, but I feel small probably because compared to what I used to be, like I was a big girl, like I was 400 pounds and like my face was so fat and so round, like I had like a triple chin, I didn't even have a neck, like look, I have a neck now, I have a shape and I have collarbones, can you see that? Yeah, see I have collarbones now. Whoa, when did that happen? I've never seen my own collarbones ever in my life. This is my first time ever seeing it. Because even in like junior high, I think I was either 200 and something pounds, almost 300, I think. Like I was probably around 270. I don't know. I never really checked the scale um, back then. But I definitely know for sure that I'm smaller compared to how I was when I was in junior high. Or it's middle school now, but back then it was junior high. So that's really exciting. Because even my face, even though it was like smaller, but like my face is even smaller than what it was. Holy shit. Also, I'm not wearing glasses because my glasses sadly broke. But it's okay. I've been needing to get new glasses anyway. So um, yeah, so that's really exciting. Um, yeah, they broke last night. I don't know, like... I don't really know how I was just like opening them like you know how like you unfold them and you put them on I went to do that yesterday like in the afternoon so when I did this and then I did that and I don't do it hard I just do it normal it's like just came right off and the the screw for it was completely broken so it's unrepairable I already went to the eye doctor place thing or the vision center and yeah, it's completely unrepaired. But they do have glasses that are the same model. Um, but luckily, the eye examination is only like $50. So I'm like, well, it has been four years. So I might as well get <laughs> an eye examination. So I'm actually going to be doing that pretty soon. Um, right now, it's almost 1.30. And my appointment is at 2.30. So I'm going to be going to get my eye examination done and get new glasses. And even though I can get the same ones I have... But I've had those glasses for four years, so I kind of want to get, like, completely different glasses. It's like getting, like, something new and everything. I mean, not, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I do love those glasses. They were so cute, and I love them. My boyfriends love them. I mean, unless I don't find any glasses that I particularly like, then I'll just go with the ones that I had before. Um, but I kind of want to find, like, bigger glasses. Not, not like huge on the face, like grandma glasses or something, but like something a little bigger because um, I just think big glasses are so cute. And now that my face is finally smaller, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna look even cuter with like big glasses on my little face. Oh, it's gonna look so cute. I can't wait. Um, I don't know if I make a video or not. I may do like a small little vlog just to show you guys my glasses and stuff. And if I'm able to keep my old glasses, I'll show you what they look like or the ones that were broken. I left it in the car, so oops. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys that and yeah. Also, I got, um, oh, what was it? I got a new blender because I had a Nutra Ninja, but that broke figures. And I had like a smaller like from Black and Deck from Black and Decker, but it's not like the best. So I went ahead and got a Nutribullet, and it is 
amazing so i cannot wait to make smoothies and protein shakes again i used to live off of that stuff it's the fastest way for me to get all that protein in me and get like healthy because when it comes to healthy it's hard for me to eat like fruits and veggies but it's so much easier for me to drink it if that makes sense like blueberries for example i love blueberry blueberry flavored things but i don't like eating actual blueberries for me it's just too bitter for me unless there's like sugar or something on it but I just don't like regular blueberries but if it's like frozen blueberries and it's in a smoothie form with like honey or um sweet and low sweeteners or whatever that I have or Splenda or something um then it's like oh <laughs> this tastes pretty good so yeah <laughs> So yeah, I'm really excited to be doing that. Um, uh, what else? Also, you can like make like green smoothies with it too. Like you could put like f any kind of fruits, even an apple, um, or you cut up, of course. <laughs> I don't think you could put the whole thing in. That'd be kind of rough. I mean, you probably can. I don't know. I saw pictures. <laughs> but yeah, and you could put like all kinds of fruits and veggies in it. So maybe I can try to make like a green smoothie. But like I said, I don't like bitter tastes. I like stuff that is either just really really good or just sweet so if you guys know a good recipe especially specifically for the Nutribullet uh for like a green smoothie or just something that kind of cleanse my body I've been eating bad foods lately that have that are just not good for me and I just need a I need a cleanse so if you guys know recipes please let me know in the comments I would love that or you can even email me um I'll put it in the description, but it's slimmywolfdiary at gmail.com, I think is what it is. So yeah, just email me and I would love to hear from you. Or if you follow me on Instagram at slimmywolfdiary, you can DM me on there and that would be even more awesome. So yeah, um, I'll try to make like little videos showing you guys like what kind of protein shakes and smoothies I make, especially if they're really, really good and I'll be like, I want to share this. So yeah, prepare for more stuff like that, so, yeah, sorry I've neglected this channel for so long, but trust me, I'm ready to make some more videos, because I love seeing transformation videos, like, when I was looking at my personal YouTube channel, which is called Moon Doll Diaries, by the way, <laughs> um, I changed that again, but yeah, so it's youtube.com slash Moon Doll Diaries, that's my personal, but be careful, there's some, like, stuff that, uh, is considered adult I mean it's nothing like lewd or sexy it's just adult <laughs> that makes any sense but yeah so when I was like looking at like some of my old videos like I saw like how big my shoulders were like my shoulders were like so big and my chest was so large and my not these but like my chest itself like everything was so big and my face was huge and like now I'm like I mean, I'm still big, but I'm not as big, so yay, I'm really happy, but yeah, so I'm sorry this was so long, but I really wanted to update you guys, so I, I'm i sorry that I've been gone for so long, and I'm going to try to see if I can re-upload the jeans video, uh, if I can, I may have to go on my old computer and download it, because there's no way you can download YouTube videos anymore, which sucks, because... I don't have the video saved on my computer anymore, not even on my old one, because as soon as I upload something to YouTube, I delete it for space. So, <laughs> but if not, I'll just recreate it the best way I can or show you guys like my new jeans. And and now even my new jeans are already starting to get loose. I may have to start looking for belts now. I've never worn a belt in my life. So that would be another big non-scale victory. I've worn regular jeans before, but that was like over 10 years ago. But I've never actually worn belts with it, so yay, I'm excited. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Definitely follow me on Instagram. I do make a lot of uh, Instagram stories. Like if you click on my profile picture on Instagram, it shows you like my little Instagram stories. I post a lot of that as well. Sometimes I highlight them, sometimes I don't. It all depends. Um, yeah that's a great way to keep like constantly updated with me but like I said I'm gonna try to be as active as I can so that way you guys plus myself can watch me like slowly get smaller even by just vlogs like you guys can see me slowly getting smaller and 
Yeah, no, no. And like literally either every month or every time I make a video, I'm going to do like a full body shot so that we, that'd be an also a good way besides just pictures, like videos itself, uh, showing me getting smaller and I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so I will talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching, and yeah, love you, bye!